welcome back to the Team to Beat Miami Heat podcast. Before I get into today's episode, just want to thank everybody for subscribing to the YouTube channel. Also want to thank everybody for following the podcast on Spotify. So for today's episode, I want to talk about a report that came out saying that the Golden State Warrior Warriors, Kevon Looney, will likely be released to save the Warriors money on their tax bill. So only $3 million of Looney's $8 million salary is guaranteed until it fully locks in on June 24th. If Looney is released, expect plenty of interest. So Kevon Looney is only 27 years old. He is a six foot nine center and he's an NBA champion with the Golden State Warriors. And he's a player that could fit the Miami Heat and could be a good option as the backup center to Bam Adebayo. So Kevon Looney, I'm assuming, would go for possibly the mid-level um, taxpayers exception. So anywhere from 5 to $6 million per season. He's not going to get much more than that, in my opinion, um, as a backup center. But I think this Miami Heat team could potentially make that offer and give him the mid-level exception. So last season with the Warriors, in limited time, he only played 16 minutes per game. He averaged 4.5 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists per game, while shooting 59% from the field and shooting 67% from the free throw line. So Kevin Looney is not going to move the needle for this Miami Heat team, but he is a player who, when given time and playing time, he's a very good rebounder. He's also very durable. He played 74 games this season, and then 82 and 82 the years before that with the Golden State Warriors. Um, His best season with the Golden State Warriors um, was two seasons ago, where he averaged seven points, 9.3 9.3 rebounds, almost three assists per game while shooting 63% from the field. So Looney's not super tall. He's only six foot nine, but again, he has a knack for rebounding and the Miami Heat are one of the worst rebounding teams in the NBA. They're ranked like 26th overall in rebounding last season. And so he is someone that can come in that has a high motor and propensity to get rebounds um, specifically offensive rebounds he averaged 3.3 offensive rebounds two seasons ago uh, during his best season with the Warriors and the Miami Heat averaged nine total as a team so he averaged two offensive boards per game last season again only in 16 minutes and I'm assuming if he does come to the Miami Heat he would only play 15 to 20 minutes per game as well but he could be someone that can help with Bam Adebayo um, getting some rest and being able to get those defensive rebounds and second chance opportunities for the Miami Heat. So it's not going to, again, be the fanciest move that the Miami Heat can make, but in terms of other free agent centers out there, it's slim pickings. I mean, I'd rather have Andre Drummond, honestly, over him, but you have players out there um, that aren't that great as well you have Mason Plumley that's available you have like Drew Eubanks you have Cody Zeller which we don't want to go that route again you have Tristan Thompson JaVale McGee you got Boban uh, Thomas Bryan if he doesn't pick up his player option um, there are not many players out there so I think Kevon Looney is the best bet at, at a backup center for this Miami Heat team if the Warriors do it, indeed release him so let me know what you guys think do you think Kevin Looney makes sense as our backup center on this roster